Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been criticized online for the inclusion of picture agency stock footage from celebrity paparazzi encounters in the trailer for their upcoming Netflix docuseries. The couple's six-part unprecedented and in-depth documentary series, titled Harry Meghan, will begin streaming its first three episodes on Thursday, December 8, with the final three parts streaming from December 15. In a new trailer, released on Monday, the couple are shown addressing their turbulent relationship with the press, with one commentator stating, there was a war against Meghan to soothe other people's agendas. The trailer also featured voiceover from Harry, who said, the pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution, this feeding frenzy. I was terrified. I didn't want history to repeat itself. Intercut with these comments are video clips of Harry and Meghan alongside shots of the paparazzi, which could lead some viewers to believe that they were taken from moments in the couple's marital lives. Also included are shots of Princess Diana, when she was being pursued by photographers, and Kate Middleton. Following the trailer's posting some users shared screen grabs of the paparazzi shots, identifying them as having been taken from stock footage agencies from events unrelated to Harry and Meghan. Twitter user, and vocal critic of the Sussexes, Jesus Enrique Roses, posted, hashtag second trailer FAIL those paparazzis right after the Harry and Meghan distressed shot, I was terrified. I didn't want history to repeat itself, daughter from a Katie Price photoshoot LMAO rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing alongside a screen grab from the trailer, Roses posted shots from the stock footage, taken from a licensable Getty Images video from 2021 concerning British model and reality star Katie Price. Another Twitter user, Urban underscore Pictures pointed out a similar issue with the trailer, identifying that other footage cut together with a clip of Harry and Meghan was also from an unrelated event, showing former Donald Trump lawyer Michael Cohen leaving to begin his prison term in May 2019. Further footage in the new at Netflix trailer also appears to have nothing to do with Harry and Meghan, they wrote. Video of Harry Meghan's car apparently being surrounded by photographers was actually footage of Trump's former lawyer leaving for a prison term, filmed in 2019. The use of stock footage is not unusual in documentaries or news stories as a resource to provide context or background. The uses of stock footage highlighted in the social media posts errant isolated instances relating to the Harry Meghan docuseries. Following the release of the first trailer on December 1st, social media users pointed out that a shot of a bank of paparazzi photographers used was taken at a Harry Potter movie premiere in 2011, seven years before Harry and Meghan married. The docuseries is the first piece of media output from the Sussexes as part of their multi-million dollar content creation deal with Netflix. It was signed in 2020, after they stepped down as full-time working royals citing difficulties with the tabloid press and royal household. According to promotional material released by the streaming giant, the series explores the clandestine days of their early courtship and the challenges that led to them feeling forced to step back from their full-time roles in the institution. They add that the show will feature commentary from friends and family, most of whom have never spoken publicly before about what they witnessed, and historians who discuss the state of the British Commonwealth today and the royal family's relationship with the press. The series does more than illuminate one couple's love story, it paints a picture of our world and how we treat each other. Harry Meghan is available to stream on Netflix globally from December 8. Newsweek reached out to Netflix for comment. Do you have a question about King Charles III, William and Kate, Meghan and Harry or their family that you would like our experienced royal correspondents to answer? Email royals at newsweek.com. We'd love to hear from you.